I would say a cheat code for me that um, really stands out in terms of the success of our relationship. Miami moments. We've never done a video on it, but they've heard this term from us a couple times. So I think this is the video we should break down yeah. what it is exactly. We should break that down. Okay. What up y'all, Joshua EC here once again with another quality video. And as you can tell from the title, we are giving y'all the cheat codes to a happy, healthy, hydrated relationship. Y'all have been asking for this for quite a while, so we decided we were just gonna hop on camera and do this. This is completely organic. We didn't kind of discuss this before. We're just out. rolling out. We talk about them like pretty much every day, mm -hmm. whenever we're on the channels, trying to preach to them, you know, the happy, healthy, hydrated But this is gonna be the video for them. They can come back to yes. and get everything. Like this they don't right. have to piece it through different one videos. stop shop yeah. happy healthy hydrate yeah we this haven't done a video happy. like this i don't think we have mm -hmm. i don't think we have so we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it you already know what the deal is with that subscribe button that like button and all that mm -hmm. stuff mm -hmm. if you're new to the gang welcome mm -hmm. welcome mm -hmm. to quality crew members but other than that let's go ahead and get into this video oh by the way speaking from experience uh, should we say like we're not licensed? Oh yeah, we are not licensed couple, couples, therapists, uh, et consultants, yeah. or whatever. <laughs> like whatever that professional side yeah, of this yeah, is, yeah. We're, we're not, not that. that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that's through experience. Yeah, we're just giving you guys our two cents on like how we, you know, how, how we, we navigate. Yeah, how we mm -hmm. navigate. If you don't like it, you know, there's always silence. <laughs> Okay. Right. This is not in any particular order. This, is, this just... is in no particular okay. order. So my first cheat code, mm -hmm. up X, Y, Y, down Z. Baby. No, okay. First cheat code, I would say comparison is the killer of happiness. So do mm. not, do not compare. Mm. I feel like a lot, especially in this this case, I know a lot of people look up to us, right? Mm -hmm. It's usually so, a lot of women. Women um, and girls. Women and girls. Mm -hmm. And when they bring our relationship to their men and they say like, you see how Josh? You don't know for a fact that I don't do know that. for a fact that happens, but, but it has happened to that. me, so I can almost assume uh -huh. that it will happen uh -huh. to somebody else. Uh -huh. It doesn't really breed change. Let me ask you this though. I'm gonna play a little devil out here. Okay. I, I agree. Do you not feel like, like what if they see something that you do for me and that's their example. Like that's the best way they can explain like, oh, I would like this. It's still gonna come off as comparative, but yes. I think that it's still necessary. There's certain things that as we've gone these six years, I've told you like, oh, I like that. Or that's cool that he does that for his girl type stuff that you've incorporated and this made me happy. So I think there's like, there's the I understand not, I understand, but I think that it's There's a fine line between yeah. like examples okay. and comparison. Okay, so like, examples are okay. Examples could be okay. You could be like, this was really cute. Okay. But when you start saying, this was really cute, why don't you do this for me? Okay. You know, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Then it makes a man just feel like, well, if you like him, so go, go be with him. I don't think it's that. I think it's just laying out kind of a blueprint for like. Yeah, but I feel like the way that you go about it, that's yeah. it. the real cheat code is how you go about okay, it. Okay, so yeah, that's what I wanted to get down to because I don't think it's always bad to not compare, but example. Aspire. Aspire, I right. It's okay to aspire. Like I, I really like the dynamic okay. of the relationship. Mm -hmm. Hold true more to the morals, mm -hmm. maybe not the actions. The okay. actions will come when the morals are learned. Okay. If you say like, I like adventure, mm -hmm. I like to go out, mm -hmm. the things that you thought were cute more than likely will happen. Mm -hmm. But if you start copying, mm -hmm. just like right copy, copy and paste, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're not living your relationship. Right. You don't even get the uniqueness and the you know the experiences of your relationship mm -hmm. because you're trying to live somebody else's relationship. Mm -hmm. Granted, we live, and I know it inspires people to live, and we hope you guys are inspired to live. Yeah. Doesn't have to be the same things we do, but we just hope that you are happy. Although the things we do are really fun. Things we do are fun, <laughs> I will say that. But that was my first cheat code. Comparison okay. is a killer of happiness. Okay. I would say a cheat code for me that um, really stands out in terms of the success of our relationship. Miami moments. We've never done a video on it, but they've heard this term from us a couple times. So I think this is the video we should break down yeah. what it is exactly. We should break that down. Okay. So to give you guys an idea of what a Miami moment was, first of all, shouts out to Issa Rae. Mm -hmm. and Insecure. Insecure. Sure. Insecure. Mm -hmm. uh, they had this moment on their episode where they're like, can I be Miami with you or whatever. Apparently. Miami just means it's a safe space. Or was it Malibu? I don't know how we. I don't know. Like, I, anyway, they had a safe yeah, word. They had a, a safe, safe word, word. Mm -hmm. and it basically like it's almost like you like put a lock on the door and was like, "This is a safe space." Yeah. So like we can be a hundred with each other, 
Even if it's blunt. Even if it's blunt, yeah. even it could potentially hurt your feelings, just mm -hmm. know it's, it's coming, coming from, from a place, place of love. love. Yeah. And we just we it needs to be said. It's just to cut out the Yeah, the to BS. cut the in between, yeah. the the chop, all mm -hmm. that. Nah, we're just gonna like hit between the eyes. Right. For example, if I see that she did something wrong in public or whatever, or like I see like something that bothered me, mm -hmm. or something like that, or you see something that bothered me, we'll flip it around. You see something that bothered me, I go outside, I make a fool of myself. You don't want to put me on blast out there. Mm -hmm. You come back to the crib. To be Miami with you? Can I be Miami with you? Right. You like open up the door. Can yeah. I be Miami with yeah, you? Because yeah, sometimes yeah. you're not ready for my. True, 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 true. It's a question yeah. you ask it. So yeah. it's like, can I be Miami with you? And you're like, sure, go ahead. Mm -hmm. What you did out there was stupid. Mm -hmm. Being blunt. Mm -hmm. And then we have a discussion like civilized adults. Yeah. But, I think that that was a really good thing that we decided. Because we yeah. we just started that maybe a year or two ago. Yeah. Miami moments. Because I think that we used to sugarcoat with each other a mm -hmm. lot. But though that gives us the opportunity to just... Yeah, it gives you the opportunity to wiggle out of your mistakes mm -hmm. and your flaws too. And I think that you should be able to talk to your partner, like life partner, mm -hmm. plainly in certain situations. There should be a moment where yeah. you can... Like, I feel like a key to a lot of relationships which could lead into another cheat code but like there needs to be a serious open line of communication 100 percent. because if if something is off mm -hmm. like someone has to be able to tell you about yourself and you not lose your mind exactly <laughs> exactly both both ways both parties because us let's be honest usually if a guy really really loves you and cares about you the guys aren't the problem in the relationship when it comes to getting told about themselves oh yeah it's no. when y'all want to tell us about ourselves yep. and that's so i feel like hard. yeah like the miami moment or you could have your own like safe word or whatever but i think it's really important in particular for the guys to have access to, to that my, i feel like you know you miami know moments I mean? have been like a clutch tool in uh -huh. my like little batman uh -huh. belt just because like, oftentimes like yeah you do kind of fear that like obviously women are emotional beings yeah. right so you can say something in the weird way that could just trigger an emotional call so like yeah. a Miami moment's like please just let's turn that off yes I'm just trying to get a point just, across yeah 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 and then we can move past that and either one of us has gotten mad and we've had a decent amount of Miami moments mm -hmm. I think yeah so that I definitely think is a cheat code for a long-term healthy relationship yeah. Because I think when you don't have that open, safe space with each other to be able to tell each other when something is off or you're not liking whatever, that's when temptation might look a little bit more tempting, the grass might look a little bit more greener because you're not communicating what your problem is with your partner. You'd rather just sweep it under the rug and keep pushing. But that boiling point ends up hitting for every relationship when you don't talk. So yeah. Miami moments is to, to diffuse that, I feel yeah. like. I feel like uh, we should also let you know that like there's some rules established with that. Like, okay. you, there's no raising of the voice. Oh yeah, yeah. There's yeah. no cursing at each other. No, like, it's like not. a civilized conversation, conversation that needs to take place. You mm -hmm. take turns with each other. Talks. Mm -hmm. Don't talk over the other person. Allow them to finish their sentence. You say your sentence. I was gonna say yeah. The person who brings up Miami moment should be able to say all that they want to say before the other before person, person reacts and comments. Talks. The point is to listen to understand, not listen to respond. So yeah, that's a cheat code. Mm -hmm. Listening is like. 90% of the battle mm -hmm. and you have to listen with intent because sometimes you can hear people but you're not really listening exactly yeah I think that brings up another good point which I mean we touch on it all the time what? Oh. just open communication that's not a cheat code it, 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 it's like the most in your face plain day cheat code mm -hmm. but I feel like we see it more and more often whenever we talk to couples we used to talk to a lot of couples y'all so like people I guess trust us we're mm -hmm. very open mm -hmm. um, but like we hear a lot uh, different things that happen between couples, but they can easily be resolved if they just if they just talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of like talking around and like taking that somewhere else, mm -hmm. like take it to their front door. Mm -hmm. That's your partner. Because mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes when people be like, "Oh, I hate when he does that," you're like complaining to your friends about it, but you're does not complaining. He know does he you? know? Right? Does he know? But this is so. Or yeah. Is, so, is this the one you know? that you were saying was gonna lead into the Mi or Miami? Yeah. 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 Because yeah. like. With the Miami moment, now you have this space to where to you say can, why you are, yeah, yeah, why you feel this way, yeah. and why you can get your peace out. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I feel like people are scared of the reaction that comes with us, like telling someone about yeah. themselves. Yeah, I don't feel like that's a cheat code. We giving them like cheat codes. Okay, well, okay, so maybe we can give them the cheat code to how to be effective at communicating. Okay, the cheat code that we use, especially on Sundays, to go deep. Yep, is our Sunday reflections. Ding ding ding. Ding ding ding. Mm -hmm. Uh, how are you doing mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, emotionally and, and financially? We now that financially. we're in a different area now. Right. You know, we are getting married, so we are talking about finances moving forward, obviously, mm -hmm. and we have investments and stuff that we do together. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that is also a big topic. But those things right there can help with, you know, just getting to a deeper version of yourself. 
And then on top of that, while you guys are having those Sunday reflections, as the listener, it would behoove you to think about more thought provoking questions to compound that. So it's like, how are you feeling mentally? You know, my head's been kind of in a thousand places. So what does that mean? We're mm-hmm. at least a thousand places, mm-hmm. you know? So like that way the conversation still builds. Mm-hmm. It shows the person you're invested, you're still listening. Yeah, that's if the person, right. Yeah, that's a good point. I was gonna yeah. say, I guess I just assumed everybody would just start letting it out, but I have been learning not everybody is good with like just expressing their feelings. A lot of people mm-hmm. weren't even taught how, so people sometimes you have to pry. I, that's what I have to do with you though. Yeah. In our relationship, I did have to like pry a little bit more. Pry like you right might around. answer something, but it's a little bit surface level. Let's go yeah. a little bit deeper. That's the point of Sunday reflections though, like to go deep with your partner. It's a form of bonding and it's just a form of getting to know each other better because I think the reason like I always love kind of saying it like the way I used to look at you and smile at you and stuff six years ago when first started dating is the same way I look and smile at you now but it's like through those Sunday reflections and us communicating with each other we've obviously not we're not the same people we were when we first started dating Mm -hmm. but we keep getting to know each other through those moments but we know the people that we are yeah yeah like it's not like we look up and like I don't even know you yeah I've grown with you but that's what I'm saying the Sunday reflections are the big component of that I feel like because we, we're staying on top of things with each other as our mentalities are shifting and changing the older we get so and you know you brought up a good point where uh when I first started out doing this with you my answers were very surface level Big. but yeah. to me that was deep mm. I didn't even have like the frame of reality that like the talks could get deeper than that mm-hmm. but then sure enough your questions made me think more and I'm like wow that's deep mm-hmm. and then you think some more like wow that's even deeper but then like as you unpack those things, you start to like unlearn behaviors, yeah. learn more about yourself, get like a deeper understanding as to why you act a certain way instead of just you saying to yourself like, oh, that's just how I am. Yes. Like you can kind of go deeper. Ooh, I'm sorry to cut you off. I just, I feel like you just said another cheat code, low key though. Oh, I know what you're going to say. You go ahead. Not having that mentality like, oh, that's just how I am. I've always been like this take it or leave it type energy. Because some people might be an actual, like it might be an actual good person that you have access to and that mentality will make you lose them. Mm -hmm. To me, at least the way we view life in our relationship and just us as individuals, we think that life is all about continuing to evolve and grow. Um, So if you're in this mentality, if you're stuck in this mentality, like that's just how I am. You're not going to get anywhere, especially not in a relationship going leading to like happy and healthy. Because I think that to have that, you have to be able to you not be mold to yourself, adapt but like adapt. Yeah. yeah, like you guys grow together. That's what builds yeah. half of the bond of the relationship in itself. The fact that you guys have grown together and like have something to look back on and be proud of. Mm-hmm. That's a big part of the relationship too. Mm-hmm. So you saying like, that's just not me or that's... That's not what I do. You've limited, you've instantly yes. cut off yes. options as to how you can experience life. People we're like big, that. Yeah. we're big on experiences in life yeah. together. Yeah. So like when we go out, we have a good time. If you guys saw our Instagram, we just go out mm-hmm. and have good times. Mm-hmm. Like we just post that too. Mm-hmm. I think that's like, what inspired this video. Yeah. If you haven't seen our Instagram pages, our individual and couples one anytime recently, definitely go on there because we recently had this amazing date night, which is kind of what inspired this video because you guys are always commenting like, y'all have so much fun together. Like so many people are so inspired by our relationship. So we want to give y'all like the cheat codes. It's really not that hard. But I think like you just said a key yeah. point, like now don't limit yourself to the experiences that you can have with your partner just because it's not you. Yeah. Yeah. And like, you know, it's crazy. Like, I don't even like sushi, but if you said, let's go try sushi. You try it. I'd be like, I'll try it. I'm yeah. not going to be like, oh no, I don't like it. I don't want to go this and I'll be like, okay, well, I mean, it's an experience. We'll go Same. try it together. Yeah. And then we can look back and say, we hated it. Yeah. We look back and say, we love it. But we did it together. But we did it. Yeah. And now it's another one of those. It's like adding a little badge to the, mm-hmm. the satchel mm-hmm. of just like your relationship. I agree. You can tick off boxes together. Oh, that's also a cheat code. What? Develop a quote unquote bucket list together. You just got that from me the other day. Yeah. Okay, but it was a good idea. It was. Clearly, you liked it. It was. Mm. (laughs) So we haven't, like, implemented a bucket list, Mm -hmm. but... In our life, we've always said, like, we want to do this, we want yeah. to do that together. Like, even this apartment was part of our a bucket, bucket yeah, list facts, facts. of, like, we want to live downtown and, like, actually live it. Mm-hmm. Like, live it to the, the utmost degree of which we thought we could. Mm-hmm. So, yes, we're doing that. Mm-hmm. And that was something we accomplished together, right? Together. So, it's like, it feels like, it just feels good to accomplish something with your partner. Like, to work towards a common goal. Just a different type of, like, fulfillment. It's I a bond. Like, yeah. And, yeah, bond. It builds a bond. Sure. All these different obstacles or challenges that you have to overcome in life mm-hmm. and things like that it 
if you do it with somebody, it just builds more morale. That's why they have team building exercises at like work and, work stuff, and like the school icebreakers. It's yeah. like you, you find common struggles or you find common challenges mm -hmm. that bring you a little bit closer together because you went through it together. You have a state of relation. You because, can talk about that. Yeah. And for us, I think what makes us so like bonded mm -hmm. is the fact that we were kind of like we're attached to the hip most of the time. We love doing stuff together. Like mm -hmm. your company is really cool to me. Thank you. Like when we go me out. <laughs> when we go out and have fun, it's like, well, we can look back and now we have even more camaraderie to look back on. Yeah. We have like a highlight tape of our happiness. We do. Oh, by the way, I, I meant to say this when we were still talking on the Cheat Code of Sunday Reflection. We can leave the link to the actual example. During Vlogmas, we had an actual example of a Sunday Reflection video. Mm, yeah. So we can leave that link in the description box below just in case anybody wants more context of how it's supposed to look. I think another Cheat Code for me to always hold the mentality that this is your teammate. Mm. So whether it's like a problem with the world, a problem with a friend, family member, or just a problem with your relationship, always have that mentality. It's y'all versus the problem, not y'all versus each other. Mm -hmm. I think that the closer we're getting to being married and stuff officially, uh, we're realizing how important it is for us to be teammates with each other and make decisions together as a team. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's a cheat code because I think a lot of times it's not intentionally done, but subconsciously people be moving real selfish and individual in mm -hmm. relationships. Yeah, um, I mean, it's still cool to hone in on your individual. Oh, 100%. Values, but yeah. at the same time, you do have to operate with an us mentality. Mm -hmm. Like, it really, like, especially if you're moving into, like, long term, like, long -term. we are, like, marriage, yeah. you're thinking real future wise. Well, this is cheat code to relationships. Relationships. So, so yeah. yeah. Start using we as mm -hmm. your pronoun. We, honestly, I don't know about, I don't want to speak for all ladies, but for me personally, whenever you say we, or us, like just include me, even if it's something like you might have individually thought about, right? Like, so mm -hmm. the stocks and crypto, you're really into that. But whenever we're talking about it, you're like, yeah, we're gonna be really set up in the future. We this, like that makes, that warms my heart. Cause it really makes you feel like, well, not only does, does the person care, but they're literally including you in their future. And yeah. at least for me as a woman, I pick up on those type of cues. If you would have been like, yeah, I'm going to be good, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to be like, oh, hmm, yeah. does he that not does, see me? You, that does feel weird. Yeah. Even just hearing you say it. And like, if you were saying like I statements, it would be like, dang. dang do you not see me in that future, in that picture with you? Yeah. Yeah. It's it like an affirmation. It's a form of affirmation. Never knew that. I guess I got a cheat so, code out of that one. Mm -hmm. But I don't. I think I do a good job with weed. You do. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I never knew this, guys. This is new information. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I guess another cheat code would be. This is like. I guess this is less obvious. Stop trying to love people the way you want to be loved. Mm, find, that's a good one. You need to find out how they want to be loved mm -hmm. and love them how they want to be loved and. Understand whether or not you want to love them. Like, if you can't do that, then that's probably a sign that mm -hmm. you guys aren't compatible. I feel like a good example of what you're saying is love languages, right? Yes. Everybody has different love languages. I think it's a good part point that you brought this up, though, because based off how we love each other now, I think people would think that we've always been like this, and that's not mm -hmm. the case. I yeah. remember maybe year one through three, I used to try to love you the way I wanted to be loved. Vice versa, I think that, yeah, yeah like, I you would try to give me a whole bunch of quality time, but, you know? And you're like, why aren't we... Being romantic, yeah, and like, be romantic, exactly. and I'm like, exactly. yeah, this is, so that this is my cup of tea. That is a cheat code for sure. Figuring out what your partner like, and I think that you can also figure that out through Sunday reflections, though. Mm -hmm. Well, for sure, take that love language test if you haven't already, because even that sparks a conversation that's pretty dope. Yeah. Um, but yeah, through Sunday reflection too, I feel like you can you get get to know your partner more. Like I feel like that's why we feel like we literally know each other like the front and back of our hands. Mm -hmm. Like if you make a certain face, you don't have to say anything. I already know what you're thinking and feeling, and vice versa. Like, we really, we're in tune with each other. Yeah. yeah. I would also say um, another good one is playing games on the same team. Mm. Follow. Mm. When you play games, mm -hmm. like sometimes we compete against, like we're playing Jenga, it's me versus you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's, that's friendly competition, we, we have it. That's Who like won last? I forgot. Ooh, you dirty. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> In that same game of Jenga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> same game. Uh -huh. You could also play it us versus the tower. We're just trying to get it to like a certain point. Mm, that's not a good example. That's not a good example. Jenga's going to Jenga. Jenga's going to be Jenga. Yeah. Jenga's going to be Jenga. But Maybe like if you're playing a card game with friends or something like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. If you like have group game nights, you know, like 
team up with your person. Be on the same team. Find some stuff that you two can attack together against something else. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes competitive nature can bring out an ugly side. We of used to do that. We used to do that. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> but we've learned to be civilized. Cheat code. That's why we're giving y'all the cheat code. Stuff that did and did not work for us. We're letting y'all know. Cheat codes. Yeah, we, we used to be on opposite teams a lot. Yeah. In the beginning. And we had competitive nature. I remember one day, uh, the powder puff. You didn't even want me to coach you. I didn't. Y'all, I she... Did not. She was like, I don't like, I don't like how competitive you are. That was back in my football days. I was hella competitive. Mm-hmm. It was actually kind of toxic how competitive I was. But she was like, I don't want to be on your team. She went on the other team and smoked my team. She was a star player. I knew she was gonna be a star player. Smoked my entire team. I was like, golly, I lost my Michael Jordan. Didn't Coach Jones tell you? Yeah. What did he say? He to said you? I was a dummy for like letting you be on the other team. I was like, she didn't want me. <laughs> she didn't want me coach. Gosh, because whenever Josh, whenever that a situation like that would happen where Josh is coaching or whatever, I just feel like you were really hard on me. I don't think in that moment I would have been hard on you because you would have did what you did. Mm-hmm. Like no one had to tell you what to do. You just grabbed the ball and went. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but I anyway. Just, I was back to the cheat code. Back to the cheat code. Back to the cheat code. That's a good idea though. At home date nights is another cheat code though. Yeah, I feel like those are highly slept on. Excuse me, in the sense where like. You can do it up a little bit. So you can have a movie night, but definitely pop some popcorn, get some movie snacks. I saw um, a while ago on Instagram, this one couple decided to do a movie night, but they kind of made like almost a game out of it where they went to Walmart. One of them closed their eyes and like picked the DVD out the little thing. And then like they went in the candy aisle and one of them closed their eyes and like whatever their hand stopped on the candy. Like make it fun. And to mm-hmm. me, that's an at home date night. It's not, it's not that expensive or anything, but you like create an experience. Creating experiences with each other, I think, is a cheat code. That's cool. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I actually want to do that. Yeah. Let's do that for a video. Should we? We're going to blindly shop. For an at-home date night yeah. experience. Yeah. In the game section. We're just going to go to the game section. Of course. Of, like, Target or of Walmart course. or something. This is and right. just I put on a blindfold. Home. You just want more Nerf guns, Pick up games. <laughs> You're going to go to the Nerf aisle and I'm, close your eyes. I'm going to remember it by heart so I don't have to look. <laughs> Anyway, for me as well, another cheat code, whenever you surprise me with something or do a date or whatever for me, and it doesn't have to do with my birthday and anniversary or Valentine's Day, I cherish that way more. Mm. I feel that. I definitely feel that. (laughs) Hint, hint. (laughs) But but all seriousness, no. I learned years ago about the guy who did three random days. Three random days of the month. For his girl. Like every month, I think at the end of every month, he would start the new month and just pick three random days. Like it could be whatever, just went random. And then he would have like a phone alarm or something set. And whenever it was time for him to do a surprise, the phone alarm would go off on that random day. And he would know like, okay, let me start surprise my girl with something. And vice versa. I feel like it could be used for girls as well. Um, it doesn't have to be anything extravagant. Like the first day that his alarm goes off, maybe he'll bring her flowers. Just a random day. So it means a lot. Because it was no, it was no like sentiment behind it. It's just like I care about you, I love you. I just want you to know that. Mm. That's what I view random spontaneous gifts as. Random spontaneous gifts or or dates. Okay. Mm-hmm. So random. So is it six? Does that mean six then? Which three mean? gifts, three dates? No. Out of the three, the first one could be flowers. Another one could be taking somebody out. I'm just, I'm, I'm helping these guys with these notes. Oh, are you? Yeah, these guys with these notes. Oh. This is, I'm asking for a friend. Oh. Okay. <laughs> special even if you write on the mirror something like a love note that day or mm-hmm. write your girl actual love note that can be considered one of the three things that you do special for that month but do something special yeah that's it it's just do something special make no, your special it. person feel special exactly three times out the month i feel like that can go both ways too yeah that's what like, i'm saying me, it needs to if you don't cook i know we live in like a very <laughs> we live in a very different age right okay some of these girls don't want to cook some of these girls do want to cook some guys like to do uh-huh. like, uh-huh. i don't know how your relationships end up but if you're not the cooker and you want to do something outside the box this is your way of trying to do something you trying to do that <laughs> i hear you nah so I, we honestly like we're not perfect obviously we're not perfect obviously we joke back and forth we still love each other mm-hmm. and we still take care of each other but like yeah we always i feel like find a way to make each other feel special special yeah 100 percent. i was gonna say another way we make each other feel special is not only do we do sunday reflections but now we do self-care sundays oh cheat code that's another cheat code <laughs> that you're is, right is a 
Cheat that. code. That's something we've really been enjoying lately. We, Man. We've fallen off since we have uh, over here with being in the house or no, whatever, but it's no, okay. It's human. Either way, so this is something I just was starting to do for myself individually, and one day I just asked Bay like, you, you want in on this? Want to in? And I was like, I'm in. So we do face masks, sugar scrubs, um, sometimes we'll do the, the foot scrub thing Give too. each other pedicures. Mm -hmm. um, go get massages together. Massages. What else do we do? Um, uh, yeah, we'll end off the night with our reflections, but we'll probably right. get some hot cocoa or something. Right, and right, right. On the balcony, at least while it's hot. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's really something we just enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's almost like uh, servant leadership, mm -hmm. but it's like... I scratch your back, you yeah. scratch my back. Servant type of love thing. ship. Mm -hmm. if you want to come. Mm -hmm. Like I serve you, you serve me. And yeah. Like together we feel like, you know, we've been served and served. Mm -hmm. We feel both ends of the spectrum. Because I feel like sometimes, you know, gift giving makes the giver feel good too. Mm -hmm. That's that's all it like you get some satisfaction, but I got some satisfaction knowing that you like my gifts. Right. So I feel like in that same way serving leadership is like, yeah, I'm serving you, you're happy. Mm -hmm. I'm getting served, I'm happy, so like I'm double up. Mm-hmm. Why are you looking at me like that? I love you, girl. Ugh. Love you. Anyway. Oh, this is definitely a cheat code. Probably should have said a little bit earlier, but um, undivided attention. So putting oh, yeah. those phone down, putting the technology away, no TV, like having nights like that. Doesn't have to time. be like a, yeah, techless time, I think is a cheat code for sure. Yeah. Because honestly, we do live in a day and age where technology is like all around us. Mm -hmm. If you're not looking at the screen in your hand, you're looking at the screen on the wall, you're looking at the screen and you laugh. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. so it, just be able to put that stuff away, kind of turn off all the noise of the world mm -hmm. and have that like individual intentional time. time. Intentional, yep, intentional, intentional time. time. I, can you tie that to the same cheat code or do you think that's a separate cheat code? Intentional time and no, attention. same. Yeah, that's the same. Same, yes. Yeah. Same. And the reason I say this too, Sunday reflections are supposed to be undivided attention, by the way. Um, no phones or anything should be happening during that. But I'm saying other days other than just Sunday dedicated to your reflection time, you should have intentional time with your partner as well. And it doesn't have to go as deep. You could be playing Uno together. You can do some sip and paint type of stuff. These could also be those nights at home, date night type of things that we're talking about. Uh, speaking Hello, of Chico. intentional, mm -hmm. uh, a cheat code would be to focus on the non-physical forms of intimacy mm. okay there's different forms of intimacy intimacy they have physical intimacy such as hand holding mm -hmm. kissing hugging you already know mm -hmm. and such and look on at and so my forth. lips look at my such eyes so on and so forth mm -hmm. <laughs> um, then there is non-physical forms of intimacy which is obviously stuff we've talked about long communication Long eye contact, mm -hmm. just moments of silence. Uh, Look at you get lost. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like that builds a better physical connection uh, when the physical does come around. Mm -hmm. So like when you hold hands, it means more. Mm -hmm. Like when you kiss, it means more mm -hmm. because you've already focused on like the foundation, which is the non-physical forms of intimacy. So you said no eye contact and what else? I said eye contact. Not I mean, <laughs> yeah, I said not. So you said eye contact. Eye contact, um, becoming emotionally vulnerable, mm -hmm. which is like opening up about mm -hmm. yourself. That brings a sense of closeness. Mm -hmm. um, long talks. There's a lot of like aesthetic things that you can do. Like our lakefront mm -hmm. uh, picnic dates, whatever we yeah. go to the lakefront, we just sit and listen to the waves come rushing in, but we're together in each other's presence. Mm -hmm. That's it feels, a form of intimacy. It feels like a form of intimacy. Yeah. We're not necessarily doing anything physical, mm -hmm. we're just chilling, mm -hmm. but like it still feels like we're being intimate with mm -hmm. each other. Or last summer when we would um, go to our spot, we would have like a spot that oh, we would go to. On the roof of, uh, the, uh, the, car. of the car garage yeah, and so stuff. Nice. Those were so vibey, yeah, man. They, they gotta were, do that again. That was I such agree. vibes. But yeah, that's like intimate time mm -hmm. that like feels a connection. But then that stuff is the real foundation of intimacy. Mm -hmm. uh, the physical stuff, like if it's just strictly physical, that, that comes and goes. Mm -hmm. But like, if you find something deeper than that, you get better results. Our last cheat code, the final one, drum roll. Mm -hmm. There's probably more, but this There's is what probably we got more. today. This is what we got. Dang, I thought that was a dojo over here. Me no le cabro. The last cheat code that we have is to affirm the relationship. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. When you affirm the relationship, you find things that make you want to be a part of the relationship. Mm. I love this relationship with you. We're happy. 
We do stuff together. Mm -hmm. I love life with you. Mm -hmm. All those words, all those sentences were affirmations, positive affirmations. Mm -hmm. If you focus on the things that make you happy, you can even go and make a list of that thing. Find out what those are, harp on them in your heart and in your mind, and your heart and your mind will find more reasons to be happy in the relationship. I say to her every day, we affirm to each other every day, I love you, mm -hmm. I love this relationship, mm -hmm. I love life with you, mm -hmm. you're my best friend. Mm -hmm. We say all that, almost every day. It's not like we don't and wake up. Yeah, it's not like this thing that we, yeah, yeah, it just comes out it's naturally. It's not like a ritual, mm -hmm. but like somewhere along the day, mm -hmm. We definitely say all those things. Yeah. Like, I love you. I love this relationship. I love life with you. I have so much fun. And we go out and we just like live. Mm -hmm. But I think those are probably some of the most quality cheat codes yeah. we yeah. can give you guys mm -hmm. off the top of the dome, man. That was a great freestyle. Good shot. Mm -hmm. But yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Really hope you guys took something of value away from this video mm -hmm. that you can incorporate into y'all relationships mm -hmm. because we are out here trying to make sure that everybody has their shot at a happy, healthy, and hydrated relationship. Period. But that is all we have for you guys today. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and make sure you guys give us a nice thumbs up so we can get this video out to the rest of the world. And we have more content coming on the way, so make sure you got that bell notification, post notifications, whatever they are, notifications, mm -hmm. have those turned all the way up because we got more content on the way. Her. But if you do not already know, I am Hydra the Hero. She is Isi Meme and Deco, and together we are Josh and Isi. Now you can follow one of us. You can follow two of us. You can follow all three of us. You might as well follow all three of us because we are happy, healthy, and hydrated on all three. Other than that, y'all, until we meet again, peace, love, hey, Grease, and we out. Hey, 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 subscribe. Hey, 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 new video. Hey, 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 it's quality. Hey, 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 it's quality.